Mahalo, amigo. Yours truly here. This is going to be number two on the ball screw rebuild for the Grizz. If you haven't watched the uh, previous video, um, probably don't know what's going on, so I'm not going to explain it again, so you have to go uh, check it out. But um, this is the new screw. Um, the story on this, uh, purchase a new unmachined 16mm uh, uh, rolled ball screw from VXB, and the plan was to re-ball uh, the original uh, double nuts that were on the bent screw and uh, ball them to fit this screw. Um, and Dave, um, good guy Dave, you might know him as Arizona Video on uh, YouTube or CNC uh, Zone. Um, good dude. Uh, he was kind enough to uh, refit uh, another set of uh, nuts to this screw. So super appreciate that. Um, if you guys are looking for, you know, a kit or something for your, uh, you know, Grizzly or PM25 or something like that, um, he's a he's a stand-up dude with uh, quality, um, you know, after sale support. So yeah, um, so we got the screw. Um, he reballed the nuts onto there, and I just got it back. Uh, maybe the middle of last week or so um, and the problem with the original screw that was on here was um, the ends came pre-machined and uh, when someone else does it you don't have control of the end product so uh, what you get is what you get and it was quite apparent that uh, whoever wherever that did the machining on the screw uh, the screw was not straight to begin with and then the machining on the ends of course um, was not concentric as well so uh, there was a solid 200 plus thousandths uh, a bend in the screw and then you know nothing you could do about the ends so um, thought it'd be best to uh, get a long virgin screw and uh, start from the beginning so um, that's what's happened so far so the screw was straightened um, and uh, I got the first end machined yesterday and so we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that. Um, was able to uh, hard turn it, didn't anneal the ends, um, have a, a pretty uh, rigid uh, lathe um, so Got it done with just conventional, you know, carbide insert tooling, no CBN or anything. Um, this, uh, you know, from the rolling process, this stuff is extremely hard. But uh, once once you get under that sort of uh, case or crust or skin, whatever you want to call it, um, it's definitely doable. Uh, and then uh, did a nice, was that 7 16 20 uh, thread on the end. Um, so, yeah, that was sort of the first... Uh, foray into um, getting the screw on on the road again and um, yeah it's it's looking great already so it's light years ahead of the other one so oh, I guess the bearings in there so these are the two uh, angular contacts Just got a 7 16 20 uh, non nylock on here for uh, ease of assembly right now. So happy with the uh, fixed end arrangement. Uh, everything's looking proper. Uh, so the next step is going to be the uh, stepper side, the drive side. Um, so that's what's on the chopping block now, and uh, as you can see, um, the screw is still going to whack a bunch of it off, but uh, it's, it's nice to be able to start with something that someone hasn't, you know, uh, already made decisions for you, so open to a couple different uh, things here.
So as some of you might recall, the uh, the thing that initially, uh, or one of the things that initially sort of uh, pushed me in the direction of tearing the, the table off the machine was uh, checking, uh, checking the coupling out with the mirror while it was all assembled and um, was a little alarmed to see that uh, the coupling had, you know, come apart. And I asked myself like, oh, how the heck does that happen, you know? Um, and uh, as far as I can figure, um, I mean, these things were cinched on there, uh, pretty snug, uh, but the screw being, uh, you know, so severely bent, the only thing that I can think that could happen is there was sort of a, a gyrating action, if you can imagine that, as the screw, you know, is bent and it's rotating, it's sort of gyrating the joint and uh, it, it sort of shimmied, uh, shimmied this end sort of down. Um, so, yeah, if if you if you got a screw, it's probably got to be straighter than that. <laughs> so, um, and it, I don't know this coupling. I'm sure it'll work. Uh, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. It's shittily made. It's clearly. Uh, uh, I mean this in the best possible way, you know, Chinese, it's cheap. Uh, so this is what's going to be going on there in its place. Let's see if we can see that. It's the huku, huku. Um, yeah, you could probably buy like five of these for the cost of this. But uh, as you can tell, the, uh, the fit and finish on it is... Um, in another uh, class, so um, but as you can tell, this style coupling it's not like a spider, how it's you know constrained, uh, like that one right there. So, this requires a you know a bearing here, and then of course, this goes uh, on the motor. So there, there it's on the motor, but you know, this has got to be constrained from, you know, coming off. So I'm going to be adding a bearing. We've got to add a bearing. We're here snuggled up where the motor and stuff is going to go. Imagine, you know, that's about there. Of course, in line with the screw, but uh, so for this coupling to work, we got to get a bearing here to support the other end of it. And I made, uh, looking on McMaster and VXB at different, you know, bearing options, um, decided to go with, uh, it's like a 6901. Um, it's sort of a thin section bearing. Uh, and this is 5'8", 16 millimeter. Um, this will be reduced down uh, where these bearings go to 12 millimeter bore, so the same size as the angular contacts on the other side. Um, so it's like a 12 millimeter ID, 21 OD, and then it's a five five mil thick. Um, so I'm gonna make a plate that uh, holds this bearing right here, and uh, then you know mounts to there to uh, sort of retrofit that in there. Um, I think this is uh, the next size down. It's a 12, 12, 21, four. Uh, so if we got the room, I'd rather go with a little bit bigger one, but it's really just gonna be to, you know, uh, to radially support um, the coupling there. So um, here's the motor side uh, plate taken off. Um, probably familiar with these. Uh, this is a two-part guy. Coupling in there. Motor in there. Of course there's no screws. It's just held together um, while we're mocking it up. Uh, so let me grab this thing over here. So there's like a piece of like UHMW or something turned up on the lathe. Um, it's like inch and a half or so. And I use this to, you know, align uh, these two pieces while I, uh, you know, snug the screws down. And um, in preparation for uh, putting this plate on the back to hold that uh, bearing we were just talking about, um, 
I'm gonna either pin pin this to this, um, pin it with some like roll pins or maybe like a like a 440 uh, countersink or something, something small, you know, just to uh, sort of index that in place. And um, and then um, once that's done, uh, I'm gonna bore up a, a plate to uh, hold the bearing. So I have to order the bearing. So hopefully sometime this week it should show up. Another thing uh, too that was done and uh, I guess this is just one of those things you learn, you know, on a crazy project like this that you just can't take anything for granted, but, uh, or it's part of the fun, I, I don't really know, but, uh, cleaned up, put the table, uh, put the table on the knee mill and, um, uh, dial it all in and cut, just kiss, just barely clean these up, uh, with an end mill to uh, make them, you know, square uh, with the table because you could tell they weren't. So um, for what it's worth, I'm not sure, but uh, it seems uh, worth it to, you know, have all of your surfaces square and true as, as best they can, you know. Um, it's every it's every little bit helps. I'm a firm believer, you know, I've said it before, it's the machine is the sum of all parts. Uh, Lots of people, you know, throw a kid on something and wonder why it's trash because it's, you know, it's like a $1,200 mill. So, there you go. Um, I think we'll leave it at that. So, thanks for, um, thanks for checking me out. Subscribe if you feel the need. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And... We'll uh, catch you later in the next one. Thanks so much.